The global market for castor oil is dominated by India. In calendar year 2018, India uh, produced 780,000 tons of castor oil, which is approximately 93% of world production. On the export side, the dominance of India is even greater with close to 97%. India almost exported 600,000 tons of castor oil in calendar year 2018, 97% of world exports. Exports have been on an increasing trend over most of the past 10 years and even longer back. Um, and uh, only last year we saw some slight setback in exports, but overall an increasing trend. The current season is a season of tightness. Indian production is going to plummet with estimates at between 1.1 or maximum 1.2 million tons, which is far below requirements. And in the rest of the world, very small production. China, 25, 27,000 tons. Uh, Thailand, 10 to 12,000 tons. All the African countries combined, 20,000 tons. Brazil, 20,000 tons in the current season. World production, approximately 1.3 million tons, sharply below the preceding years, as we can see in the slide. India can somewhat compensate the reduced production by carry in stocks of approximately 400,000 tons, but still total Indian supplies, as we show here in the slide, are around 1.5 million tons and thus less than the annual requirements, the normal annual requirements. So it is going to be a season of tightness. Indian supplies of castor seed are the lowest in many years. We don't know the actual crop size yet, but it's going to be a deficit year. A deficit year in which stocks will be reduced, not only of castor, but also of castor oil. The next slide here shows uh, the um, development of uh, annual development of Indian production and disposals of castor seed. And we can see that. Um, for the new season, Indian disposals will be below the trend. And this will affect supplies on the world market. Now, we have uh, uh, summarized the situation in the next slide. Uh, in the world supply demand uh, balance of castor oil. Um, and as we see here, production of castor oil, world production of castor oil is likely to drop by approximately 100,000 tons, probably a little bit more. Consumption is likely to decline, but the reduction in consumption can be moderated by a reduction of stocks in both the producing and importing countries. And this is what we expect. We expect a a, a decline in Indian stocks of castor seed and castor oil, and we expect a decline in castor oil stocks in many importing countries. Several consumers already expected a developing tightness last August, September, October, and made some precautionary measures building stocks um, ahead of the approaching supply tightness in uh, 2019. Uh, 
so at the moment we expect some setback um, uh, imports of castor oil into China uh, are probably going to decline by 10%. Uh, similar reductions may be seen in the European Union and the US and other countries. And many of those countries uh, will be reducing their stocks, which will limit the decline in consumption. Probably for China we will see castor oil consumption to be just flat in 2019 after a significant increase over the past few years. The slowing down of the economy in China may also contribute to a slowing down of castor demand plus uh, higher prices. So, uh, in summary, uh, the growth in world consumption of castor oil, which has been quite significant, from 400,000 tons back in the late 80s uh, to 810,000 tons last season, will probably drop somewhat in the current season. Imports will be dropping more sharply than consumption. Now, what is going to be the price impact? Castor oil prices have jumped last year, September, October, November, December, but they have fallen back. Uh, I'm not sure whether we have seen the highs yet. The situation is going to be rather tight, of course, depending on the actual crop size in India. I would not be surprised to see some price appreciation in the coming months, also to give the farmers in India a signal, the incentive to expand. Current prices probably are not high enough uh, to stimulate increased plantings for next season's crop yet. Uh, castor oil in Rotterdam is currently quoted at $1,800. It has a premium of more than $1,000 over soybean oil. Still, still, I think there is a possibility of higher prices in the near to medium term. Uh, it is interesting to look at the development of domestic prices of different oil seeds in India. Castor seed has become the uh, most expensive oil seed in relation to its uh, tightness, now shaping up for 2019. Uh, but the premium to groundnut oil is relatively small. Also, the edible oil seeds particularly groundnut oil, but also rapeseed, have been supported lately. And we probably need higher prices in India to stimulate a boost in plantings, with stocks of castor seed and castor oil having been reduced significantly in India in the course of 2019, a significant expansion in plantings has to occur. Now, if we look at the development of annual plantings in India over the past couple of years, here we see an interesting jump to close to 1.4 million hectares in 2011. Now, at this time, in this year, castor oil prices in Rotterdam were 2,600 US dollars. We are far away from this level. But I would say we would need a significant expansion in plantings by at least 250,000 hectares in the course of this year for the crop of early 2020 uh, to bring about the required increase in Indian production to replenish stocks and to, 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 to have sufficient production to satisfy demand, world demand of castor oil in 2020. 
So probably, and, and, and this would be my conclusion, probably we need some additional price uh, increase in the next uh, three to four months um, uh, so that castor uh, area, castor area in India is being expanded. There is some expansion taking place in, Indi in, in Brazil at the moment. Uh, plantings have been boosted by 50% uh, because of the developing tightness in India. The crop will start being harvested from June onward and at the moment the crop is estimated at uh, 30,000 tons as compared to 20,000 tons last year. This also is an increase of 50% but in actual magnitude this increase in Brazil is insignificant. So it remains uh, to be seen what happens in India and, and how, the, uh, uh, how, how prices will develop uh, to uh, accomplish the necessary expansion of plantings. Before I end, ladies and gentlemen, let me briefly review the global market of the key oil seeds and edible oils. First, soybeans. World supplies of soybeans are ample. We are expecting world soybean stocks to continue to rise in the current year by probably 6 million tons to a new high of slightly more than 100 million tons. Stocks are likely to be burdensome in the US at approximately 26 million tons, a record level, at the end of August 2019. There is a global production surplus for soybeans, although South American soybean production has been damaged by approximately 10 to 11 million tons. We have made downward revisions as a result of detrimental weather conditions during the past two months. Uh, but still, uh, world production is rising by 12 million tons, while uh, a total consumption of soybeans is slowing down. There is a major change happening in the current season in China. Soybean crushings in China are likely to uh, decline by 7 to 8 million tons as soybean meal consumption is being reduced in the livestock industry. Um, China is cutting back soybean imports and soybean crushings uh, and as a result of that world crushings of soybeans are virtually stagnating at around 300 million tons in the current season. This is the first year in which world production is rising sizably and at the same time world crushings of soybeans virtually stagnating. This creates a bearish scenario for soybeans and soybean meal in particular, but it creates a bullish scenario of soybean oil because uh, also soybean oil production is going to be rather flat while demand continues to rise for soybean oil. If we look at the four major edible oils, three of these four major edible oils will show a decline in the annual growth in production as compared to last year. First, palm oil. World palm oil production is rising by only 3 or 3.2 million tons in the current season. 3.0 to 3.2 million tons. As compared to more than 5 million ton growth last season. For soybean oil, we see world production almost stagnating as compared to an increase of 2.2 million tons last season. 
Rapeseed oil. Very slight increase in rapeseed oil production worldwide um, as compared to an increase of 0.5 million tons last year. The only exception is sunflower oil, where after a slight setback last season, we are going to see an increase by 1.1, 1.2 million tons in the current year. Yeah? But overall, there is a noticeable slowing down of the growth in world production of all edible oils. Let us briefly look at palm oil. Palm oil has been a success story over the past 30 years. Production doubling every 10 years, at least doubling every 10 years, uh, reaching 72 million tons in 2018. Now the palm oil market is coming into trouble. Lack of replanting and several other challenges, several other problems are leading to a slowing down of the yield per hectare. On top of that, the acreage expansion is slowing down. And as a result of that, there will be a noticeable slowing down of world palm oil production in the next five years and in the next ten years. Uh, this, uh, this will change the global supply and demand fundamentals for all vegetable oils. For the near term, for 2019, and this is summarized here in the slide, we expect world palm oil production to rise by 2.8 million tons only, uh, as compared to increases of 4.2 million tons in calendar year 2018 and 8.8 .8 million tons in 2017. Also for palm oil, there will be a production a deficit in the current season. While production, the growth in production is slowing down for October, September to about 3.0 to 3.2 million tons, the growth in production, the growth in consumption is accelerating to at least 6 million tons, probably 6.4 million tons, driven by biodiesel production growth as well as higher consumption of palm oil in the food industry because of insufficient supplies of soybean oil and rapeseed oil and other oils and fats. So there's going to be a production deficit in palm and this has already started to affect palm oil prices. Palm oil prices have moved up by $90 to $110 um, since early December. Uh, there is further upward potential in palm oil prices, though at a more moderate rate in the next six months or so. In conclusion, uh, we look at the eight vegetable oils and we see a very similar pattern, a slowing down of the growth in world production, a slowing down of the growth in world production to probably 4.2, 4.3 million tons in the current season, while consumption, the growth in consumption is accelerating to at least 8 million tons, probably 8.2 million tons. And also for the eight major edible vegetable oils, we expect a production deficit developing in the current season. This will affect prices. Uh, this will raise prices of vegetable oils and uh, creates a, a tighter situation uh, worldwide. The tightness at the moment is moderated by the current high stocks. stocks of palm oil, stocks of all vegetable oils have peaked at the end of December. They have started to decline and the decline is going to continue in the course of 2019. We will bring further details in our weekly reports and if you have questions, comments, 
you are invited to contact me. Thank you very much.